In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your first animation in Adobe Flash. What we're going to be drawing today is this bear, and we're going to have some eyes rolling backwards and forwards inside him. It's pretty easy to make, so let's head over to Adobe Flash now and create a new Action Script 3.0 file. From here, you will get a white box on your screen, which is known as the stage. In Photoshop, you're probably used to calling it the canvas, but in Flash, we need to get used to calling this the stage. You'll notice that in your properties box that you can change the color of this stage. Okay, so click on that now and I'm going to choose a nice light yellow for this project. Now on the stage, that's where all our animation takes place. It's where all the action happens. Okay, and the first thing we want to do on our stage is draw on a bear's head. I'm going to do that by using the oval tool. Okay, so press the letter O for the keyboard shortcut or hold your mouse down on that rectangle and select the oval. Once the oval is selected, I want you to have a black stroke, which is your outline or your border. And inside we're going to have a brown fill color. From here, you need to start near the top left hand corner. Just click and drag down to near the bottom right corner. And you'll end up with an oval that looks something like that. From here, you want to hold shift now because we're going to draw perfect circles. And up the top left, I want you to draw some ears for this bear. And up the top right. We will do something similar. You want to get them a similar size and in a similar position on each side. If you don't get it quite right, just press Ctrl Z and keep going until you're happy with it. We don't want to copy and paste in this tutorial. Okay, they're not exactly perfect, but that will do close enough. Next thing you want to do is delete these black lines that overlap the main part of the face. Okay, and it'll make it look like the ears are connected to the actual head of the bear. So to do that, you need to grab your black arrow tool, click on the black lines here, and press delete on your keyboard. Okay, once they're selected, just press delete. And now it looks like the ears are attached to the head, so it's a much better looking bear already. From here, we'll grab the oval tool again, and we're going to choose a really light pink color for the next step. We're going to start to draw parts of the mouth. It's going to be a nice big oval down near the bottom of the bear here for the mouth section. That's not exactly the mouth. You'll see what it is in just a moment. I'm going to use a black fill color now to draw a little button nose that overlaps a bit of the brown and a bit of the pink. I don't draw it too big. Next thing we'll draw is the eyes. So we'll have a black stroke and a white fill color. And the eyes are quite tricky. You really need to get these a similar size. And they should be aligned almost perfectly and almost the same size. If you make a mistake, remember just press Ctrl Z, undo it, and try again. Eventually you'll get the two eyes that look fairly similar. We're going to leave the eyeballs out for now. They're in animation, so we're going to leave them till the end. The last thing we will do to this face though is draw a mouth just through this pink section here. So I'm going to grab my line tool for that. Using a black stroke, I'm just going to hold shift, click and drag through the middle to draw a straight line. From here, grab your black arrow tool, and just watch as I hover over the black line here, my mouse cursor will change. There it is. So as my mouse cursor changes to that curly line, you can click and drag that line now. And we're going to put it into the shape of a smiley face. Okay, that looks pretty good. The final step now is to draw in the eyeballs, which is an animation. And one of the rules with Flash is when you want to animate something, it needs to be on a new layer or a separate layer from everything else. So what I might do over in my layers panel here in the bottom left is double click on layer one and call it face. Once I've done that, I'm going to hit the little padlock here. And that's going to put another padlock on my face layer to say it's now locked into position. There's no way I can edit that. Okay, from here now, I'm going to add a new layer in, so down the bottom left hand corner, just press the new layer button, double click on layer 2, and we're going to rename this layer to eyes. Okay, so now that we've got this new eyes layer, it is unlocked at the moment, so it means we can still add stuff to it and we can draw on it. I'm going to grab my oval tool again and remove the stroke this time, so I press that little button with the red line through it. Grab a black fill color. Holding shift, I'm going to click and drag just to draw a little eyeball looking out to the left. I'll do the same on the right eye as well. Okay, so it's starting to look pretty good now. And when we animate something, 
Another rule with flash is that we need to convert whatever shape we've just drawn into a symbol. And the way we do that is we select both the eyeballs. So you can either hold shift and click on both of the eyeballs to select them, or you can do it the quick way by going into the eyes layer and just click once on the eyes layer. And you can see your eyes go this speckled sort of color, which shows that they are both selected now. From here, you go up to the modify menu and convert that shape to a symbol. Or just press F8 for the shortcut. Now a little box will come up saying, what do you want to name this symbol? Always give your symbols names, and we'll call it Eyes. We'll leave it as a movie clip in this case, and click on OK. And if you've done it correctly, you'll see that a blue line now goes around both eyeballs to show they are connected, and they're one big picture. Well, they are a symbol. This symbol can now be animated. <clears throat> so what we want it to do is actually move from the left-hand side of the eyes to the right-hand side of the eyes, and then back again. So to begin with, we need to look down at the timeline at the bottom of our page. The timeline shows us how long our animation goes for and what action is taking place in our animation. All these little boxes here, they represent frames. Okay, And 24 of those little frames represents one second of animation. So about that far in our timeline will represent one second of animation. You can see in the bottom here is the 24 FPS, which stands for 24 frames per second. So what I want to happen, I'm going to get the eyes to go from the left side to the right side of the face in one second. So to begin with, click on your face layer, go across 24 frames, and on the 24th frame I want you to click in it, and what we're going to do is press F5 on our keyboard, which inserts just a blank frame. So if I go back to the start of my animation and press enter to test it, you'll see this little scrub head play along for one second. Okay, so you can just keep pressing enter to see it go along. My face has no animation to it. Okay, so it just sits there for one second and does nothing. The eyes layer, however, you might see them flash up very quickly at the start but then disappear. That's because they're only sitting on frame one. What we need to do is make it animated between frame one frame 24. Okay, so from between 1 and 24 we want those eyes to move slowly across to the other side of the eyeball. Okay, so we've got our start point for our animation. You always have a start point, that's frame 1. What we're going to do is right click our mouse on frame 1 and say we want to make a cre or motion tween, so we're going to create a motion tween. You'll see now Flash is added in this blue box that goes all the way across to frame 24. Okay, so if we press enter now, our eyes will sit there for one second or 24 frames. Okay, we've got an end point to our animation now, which is frame 24. But what we want to do on that end point is move the eyes so they're looking out to the right. So click on frame 24 here of your timeline on the eyes layer. And you'll see this blue box appear around the eyes to show that they are selected. And all you need to do is hold shift and press your right arrow keys and just move them across to the right. If you press enter again now, your eyes will move from left to right. Okay, it's made a motion tween. The word tween means in between. Flash fills in all these little frames here and does the animation for us. Okay, all we have to do is tell Flash where to start our animation, so that's our eyes on the left. And across to frame 24, we tell Flash where to finish our animation. And that's our eyes looking out to the right. The rest in between here, that's what Flash does for us. Okay, It knows what animation needs to be done between those two frames. All we need to do is show it where to start and where to finish. Okay, So that's a very simple animation. What we do want to do now is just repeat that process, but make the eyes go back to the left, so they're looking at the left-hand side again. So they go back to where they started. Simple to do. We just want to go along for another second. So what I'm going to do first of all on the face layer is we're going to stretch this out to frame 48, which is two seconds in time. So click on frame 48 and press F5. Just puts in a blank frame. So our face now sits there for two seconds. Our eyes, though, only sit there for one second. So let's have a look at what that looks like. Okay, 
if you watch the timeline as we do that, you'll see our eyes move across and then they disappear. They disappear because there's nothing on our timeline to tell our eyes to stay on there. So we'd better tell our eyes to stay up on the stage there. So let's go to frame 48 on the eyes layer now. And what we're going to do, you can either press F6 to put this keyframe in, or you can go to the insert menu, timeline, and insert a keyframe. What that does is puts a finish point to our next piece of animation. So our starting point for this next bit of animation is on frame 24 where our eyes are looking out to the right. The finishing point is on frame 48. And what we're going to do is hold shift and just press our arrow keys again to move our eyes back so they're looking out to the left. So there's three main points in our animation. We've got the start point where they start looking out to the left. We've got the middle point, where they start looking out to the right, and then we've got the finishing point, where they look back out to the left again. And remember, Flash has made the motion tween for us. It's filled in all these little frames on our timeline and made the eyes move slowly and smoothly across the eyeball there. Okay, press Control Enter if you'd like to watch your animation repeat itself over and over again. Okay, so that's a very simple motion tween and you'll use this technique quite a bit in your animations this term. When you are finished go to the file menu save as and make sure you save it as a FLA file that's a flash file be sure to give it a good name too let's call it motion tween bear Oops, I can't spell very well there we go motion tween bear click save when you're done and that's it okay so control enter to watch it that'll just publish it and you can see it being played over and over again. Hey, okay, good luck with that.